Welcome back to AgriTalk, downtown St. Louis National Convention for Alpha Gamma Rho. Phil Josephson is the executive director for AGR, joining us now. Phil, thanks for being with us. A little over 400. You have to be happy with your turnout. We're very happy with our turnout here in St. Louis. We think that it's a great opportunity for these young guys to, to be exposed to all these companies, be exposed to our workshops and all the things we're doing here at our national convention. I want to talk about the program and some of the goals that you have here. But first, kind of a some background and overview, a little history for AGR. Alpha Gamma Rho is the agricultural fraternity. Uh, we have 70 different groups coast to coast, United States. Uh, our purpose is to make better men and through them a better agriculture. We, uh, we are a social professional fraternity. So we're social in nature in that we have chapter houses, eat meals together, and all about those things to make our men better. But we're professional in nature also, also because we affiliate uh, with the industry. We have a limitation on our new initiates that they have to be ag-related in any one of the many, many agriculture curriculums. And we have a very strong network of alumni throughout the industry of agriculture. A lot of times you say fraternity, people immediately think of the social part of that, not the professional part, but that is a very strong part of Alpha Gamma Rho. It truly is. You know, the, the letters, A-G-R, are the first three letters of the word agriculture, and we mean it. We, we are a very important part of the industry. We have a lot of partners here in St. Louis with us uh, we have a lot of sponsors that are with us. Uh, we're all about getting jobs for our young guys and the old guys, too. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that because that is such a big part of it. We see some major companies here. Talent recruitment is a big part of what will go on here at your convention. It is odd that in our society we see a lot of uh, unemployed folks, but in the industry of agriculture, these companies are looking for bright young men, and we really believe that off Camero can produce career-ready young men. And that is really a message we want to get out uh, because, as you say, with the economy as it is, unemployment high, here's a chance to tell people, hey, there are jobs available and there are companies looking to hire. These are good careers that are available in ag-related fields. Certainly are, and uh, we're, we have the men to fill those positions. Uh, we would encourage uh, a lot more of, of the companies around the agriculture industry to join us, and we certainly would hope that they would do the, just that. Now, this is a biannual convention, is that right? Biannual. Our uh, last convention was in Chicago, and our next convention is in Vermont. Uh, so we're very excited about uh, taking our, all of our men there. Now, let's spend some time with potential employers. Uh, for those that are coming, your members that are here, what else do you have for them? We have a number of workshops that we're making available. Uh, starting up here in just a couple of minutes, we have a sustainability panel. We've brought in experts from the industry, and uh, we're going to have a raucous good time because uh, not everybody on the panel is in agreement. Uh, but we're going to have some fun doing that. We have some other workshops tomorrow. We have a career boot camp tomorrow. Uh, we have other workshops to help our young men uh, become better leaders in our society, and uh, we want to follow up on our purpose to make better men. How are your numbers nationwide, and what about as we look to, to the new year coming up? We have a total of 66,000 initiates in Alpha Gamma Rho over our last 104 years. And uh, we have 70 different chapters, as I said. Uh, we've almost set a new record of initiating new men uh, this past uh, fiscal year. And uh, most all of our chapters are doing very well. We have a brand new colony. Uh, young group down in Georgia at ABAC, and uh, we have lots of other chapters doing very well. Has that been a challenge uh, to get that message out that, hey, there is this great opportunity here because uh, the perception might be negative or that there aren't jobs or there aren't careers in agriculture or ag-related fields? Do you have to overcome that a little bit? There's no question that we have to overcome that, that sense, uh, although... We tend to recruit from a different stock of people. We, we tend to have rural boys, young men that, that uh, really are looking for something else. So I wouldn't say the other fraternities uh, uh, really have a disadvantage, but we certainly feel we have an advantage. And by golly, we have the best fraternity. <laughs> yeah, no bias there, right? Uh, but you have quite a track record, and you have, I won't say the older guys, but let's say the more the mo mature, the experienced ones that have been through this, have very successful careers. That has to be incentive and a real inspiration to the younger one. It truly is. There's a sense, once you get initiated in Alpha Camaro, because we don't have any pledge program, you're immediately afforded the, all the opportunities and the rights of membership. 
One of the first things that they sense is the opportunity to learn leadership and become leaders, to manage their house and do other things. The other thing they learn right away is that there is a vast network of alumni out there that are resources for their career development, uh, for their positions, wherever they want to head, whether it's back to the farm or whether it's on in uh, finance or marketing or any one of a number of careers. There are lots of alumni out there. And uh, I think you're going to hear from one of our undergraduates here in a bit that uh, those are the things that our young men are looking for. Great. Thanks, Phil. Enjoy your time here in St. Louis. Really appreciate it, Mike. Thank you. Phil Josephson, Executive Director for Alpha Gamma Rho. We'll talk with one of those undergrad students from Purdue University. Derek Middlesworth will join us next on AgriTalk. AgriTalk. 